Good morning, Ludlow High School. I'm Alyssa Cody. And I'm Brianna Moore. Welcome to Thursday, November 9th edition of the Lion's Roar. Before we get into the show, could you please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's give a few announcements to start out the show. Attention all students, ASVAB testing will take place on December 6th at 2 p.m. Please sign up in guidance or see Ms. Dion with any questions. Cooking Club will meet today in room C005. Please come ready with ideas for the Gingerbread in Space exhibit at the Springfield Science Museum. LHS is hosting a Decision Day event on December 5th. If you are interested in applying to one of the following schools, you should participate in Decision Day. Western New England University, Elms College, American International College, or Bay Path University. Students are responsible for completing the college application and bringing all supporting documents to guidance by December 1st. Come to guidance to sign up and get your application ASAP because interview spots are limited. Congratulations to LHS band and chorus students who auditioned for this year's All District Festival last Saturday. Nine members of the chorus got in, including Brielle Hamill, Mara McDonald, Jacob Fialo, Lizette Alves, Savannah Turber, Tyler Dowd, Joshua True, Brandon Garcia, and Adam Weiner. Brielle, Mara, and Jacob also earned all state recommendations. From the band, two members got in, Isaac Moulter and Emily Mullen. Emily also earned an all state recommendation. In October, LHS brought back the Student of the Month Award. These students are nominated by the staff to be recognized for their contribution to our community. Our first student of the month for October was nominated for her willingness to be a good friend and classmate to all here at LHS. She is willing to reach out and help others in the simplest of ways, whether it is working with other classmates in clubs or lending a helping hand in the hallway or at lunch. Congratulations to Brianna Wallace. Our second student was nominated for also adding to a positive school climate. She is willing to help her classmates out with no expectation of anything in return. Each day at the end of seventh period, she stays after class to put up any chairs from desks where students sit. Congratulations to Emily Harris. Next week, the Student Council will sponsor a Red Cross blood drive here at LHS. To give us some more information on the event, here's Brooke. Hey Lauren, did you know that there's a blood drive happening next Thursday, November 16th from 725 until 1 o'clock? No, tell me about it. Well, if we have 100 people sign up for this, we can get two scholarships. It's free money, people. And you can get unlimited food afterwards. And if you hate that math class, you can skip it to donate blood. How do you feel about this now? Sounds really cool. Think I'll sign up. Yeah, remember to sign up in all three lunches. As you all know, all students here at LHS have been given a Chromebook to use throughout the year. Over the course of the next few weeks, we will be sharing a series of short segments with you addressing some common issues that have been arisen. Here with the first video is our librarian, Ms. Hedden, with a brief message. Hi, I'm Ms. Hedden, your librarian, and also the person that you come to see if you have problems with your Chromebooks. One of the issues that's come up with the Chromebooks since they were passed out earlier this year is cracked screens. The screen assembly and top cover of the Chromebooks can't really handle rough treatment, so it's important to be gentle when you're opening and closing them and not to carry them around by the top cover. So here's a couple of things to keep in mind. When you are opening and closing your Chromebook, do it gently. Make sure there's nothing in the way when you're closing your Chromebook, so get your fingers and your pencils out of the way. And pick up and carry your Chromebook by the bottom. And so some things not to do. Don't carry your Chromebook around by the top cover or assembly. As you can see, this one got broken by somebody doing just this. And then also, don't carry it around the school. Open. Make sure that you close it. Carry it around this way. Keep your Chromebook happy and healthy, and then you won't have to come see me about it. But come see me anyway, because I'd like to see you. 
The fall sports season was wrapped up for most teams, and before you know it, we'll be preparing for the winter season. This week, recent TJ spoke with a few athletes to recap their team's fall season. I'm here with Ben from the varsity soccer team. Tell us a little bit how your season went. Uh, yeah, it was a good season this year. We started off a little slow, but throughout the season, we just really started to gel together. We had a lot of young guys, a lot of older guys, and the chemistry was just there and ended the season, won our division, and we're going into the playoffs strong. I'm here with Rachel from the girls' volleyball team. Tell us a little bit about how the season went. Um, the season went a little rough towards the end. We did pull it together, um, but in the end, I feel like I had a really fun season, and I loved all the girls I played with. I'm here with Ms. Cook, the assistant coach to the girls' varsity soccer team. Uh, how'd the season go? Um, it, there was ups and downs. Uh, the main takeaway, we ended up missing the playoff tournament, the bracket, by one point. So it was very tough for you know the whole team, a lot of the girls on the team, seniors included, um, losing out by one point. Um, but we're you know hopeful. We're cheering on the guys. The guys, uh, they play today, I think, at Lusitano. And we're just preparing, you know, for next year. Day one starts now for next year. All right, thank you. Now let's check out the lunch menu for next week. On Monday, we're having chicken noodle soup, steak and cheese grinder, chips, carrots, and fruit. On Tuesday, there's no lunch due to parent-teacher conferences. On Wednesday, we'll be having spaghetti with sauce, garlic bread, green beans, and fruit. Thursday will be turkey and gravy dinner with mashed potatoes, corn, a roll, and blueberries on a cloud. On Friday, we're having cheese or pepperoni pizza, three bean salad, raisins, and fruit. Now to get this weekend's weather forecast, let's go over to Sydney. Friday will be sunny with a high of 45 and a low 30. Saturday will also be sunny with a high of 44 and a low 38. Sunday it will rain with a high of 55 and a low 48. Now back to you guys. Now let's update you on scores from this past week. On Friday, the football team lost their game 44 to 36 to Mahar. On Monday, the boys' soccer team won their playoff game over Central by a score 1-0 to zero in overtime. Now for the games coming up this weekend. Tonight, the football team has a home game against Pathfinder at 6 p.m. Saturday, the boys' and girls' cross-country teams will travel to Northfield Mountain for the Western Mass Championship. This week, we'd like to recognize Todd Holloway of the football team at LHS Athlete of the Week. Todd has put together three straight 100-yard games, including a 143-yard game against Drury. He now has 828 yards and 14 touchdowns this season. Congratulations, Todd. Well, that's it for this week's show. I'm Brianna Mora. And I'm Alyssa Cody. Have a great weekend, and we'll all see you next Friday.